It's what's up, everybody, I'm Ricardo Lightborn. This one tonight goes out to Miss Rachel Roll. Yep, she says that age is nothing but a number. I agree with you, Miss Roll. This roll on the side of me is the same way. The fourth annual BTC West Grand Bomber Summer Basketball League is right around the corner. They're going to be in Pinedale, eight miles of rock. Let's go to Tally Hall for the 411. Coordinator of the 4th Annual BTC West Grand Bahama Basketball Summer League, Ross Burrow says, growing up tournaments such as these were a part of the Pinedale community and that is why it was important for him to continue the tradition. He says this league is expected to be a good one. As every community in West Grand Bahama will have three teams, a mini, a junior and a senior team. This season we will give special attention to the mini teams or primary school kids to further develop their skills and improve their knowledge of the fundamentals of the game of basketball. So far we have teams such as Boyd Control, Rebels, Spartan Titans, Bellevue Bulls, West Star Stackers, CLC Tigers, Candies Wolverine, Starter Specialists, Utmost Bad Boys, GB Dental Cleaners, just to name a few. BTC's Vice President of the Northern Bahamas, Eldry Ferguson Mackey says, corporate companies should always give back to the communities that support them. We were actually at a community event um, several months ago and we met with the tournament organizers and they said, hey, by the way, um, BTC, are you going to commit to our event again? And they started to talk about the event and they started to talk about how meaningful the event is to this community. And of course, it's very difficult to say no um, to organizers like that, especially when you see the level of commitment that they have. So we just want to say that it's important. If you look around on the basketball court, most people probably won't be able to find Fritz Ford's Williams um, basketball court, but this shows you the extent of BTC's reach in, in this community. We want to thank corporate sponsor BTC, who for the second year has come true for us by providing such gifts such as cell phones, phone cards for fans and players. Also special thanks to our newly elected member of parliament for providing the trophies for the players at the end of the at the end of the start of the league. Now the league will begin on June 15th and will end on August 26th nightly from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. on the Buddy Heel Fritz Forbes basketball court. Italia Hall, ZNS Total Sports. All right, kids, make sure you have your off and anything else down there. You're back in the bush, buddy. Let me tell you, the Ruby Walkers on the links at Ruby Golf Course and Greg Maycock yesterday shot a 2 over 38 on uh, Hanford Bain with a 3 over 39. Greg uh, Bow with a 41. Marcus here leads the competition, folks, with 33 points. Hanford Bain is 26. Uh, Greg Bow is 25. Greg Maycock sitting there at 24.5. Mark Knowles with 12. Allison Stewart has 9.5 points. Freddie Bow with 9 as well as Dr. Talone with some uh, 8 points and Dwayne Parker with 3.5. I'm sitting there with Kevin Mortimer with three points, and so we're in the mix of this thing. Stuart Coakley has 2.5, Fenton Skillet Russell, and also Leonard uh, Belazera, both with a point, and Earl Campbell, all the way down there in uh, Long Island. He has one half of a point. Well, let me tell you that the Bimini Regatta Committee is also making uh, this year's event a three-day one for you for some sailing and an awful lot of fun, and I tell you, it should be an awful lot of great time down there as well. We have this report coming for you. Let's go to it and tell you exactly why Kimberly Mullings wants to go to Bimini. This year, a total of seven boats are participating in the Bimini Regatta and three cup races on Radio Beach. Committee member Malachi Dean says the participants hail from various islands. W.G. Thunderbird out of Andres will be coming along with the Dream Girl out of Freeport, the Uncle John out of Acklands, the Mesa Bee out of Mangrove Key, the Fraga out of Acklands, and the Lady Eunice from Black Point. The first race is scheduled for Friday with two races on Saturday. The top three finishers in each race will receive trophies, then an overall winner will be announced. The Bahamas National Festival Commission is on board as well too, providing quality in Bahamian entertainment. CEO Roscoe Dame says it is a pleasure to be wrapping up the 2016-2017 season in Bimini. The entertainment for the weekend, Iris Store and the Spank Band, uh, we're going to feature the On Island on Friday, uh, Gino D. And on Saturday night, our headlining Bahamian Acts, DVS, who was in Andros uh, a couple of weeks ago and, and gave us a show that was stellar. Dames added that other national festival song competition finalists will be performing as well. Resort World Bimini is the largest employer on the island, and Director of Public Relations Michelle Malcolm says Resort's world prides itself on being immersed in the community. We were more than happy to give our support. Um, by way of providing accommodations for key players 
in the regatta as well as a monetary donation. Uh, we are very happy to be a part of this because it is something that gives back to the community on multiple levels and um, that is certainly what Resorts Row Bimini is about, um, supporting the community in any way that we can. The Bimini Regatta is scheduled for June 23rd through 25th. Kimberly Mullings, ZNS Soul Sports. Sad note, folks, Grand Bahama and D, the Bahamas have lost another sports icon and legend. Basketball legend Oral Big O. Jones died uh, this morning in New Providence. Uh, playing much of his basketball career at the Caribbean Suns, Big O was a force in the paint and his presence in the basketball court was like no other. He always uh, said basketball and the paint is a big man's game and you better come ready to play every night. I remember him playing in the father-son game and he put on a show. Big O was a gentle giant and I never raised his voice, but always a gentleman off the court. But on the basketball court, that's another story. Big O uh, passed this morning at 3 a.m. And yes, another Grand Bahama sports legend is now gone. He was 51 years young and our condolences extended to his family and friends.